Mahek Bukhari set a plan in motion to silence her mother's former lover after he threatened her family with blackmail, Holly Evans writes. Threats to expose sexually explicit material over a long-term affair with a mum led to a double murder where a car was rammed off the road. Today, TikTok influencer Mahek Bukhari and her mum Anzreen Bukhari were found guilty of murdering Saqib Hussain and Mohammed Hashim Ijazuddin. Both men died in a high-speed car chase in February 2022. To the woman who birthed me, I appreciate you so much, a social media influencer shared on her TikTok account. Like many other clips on the popular social media platform, the short video showed a young woman swaying to music, before a picture of her and her mother appeared within a heart. Posted on the 19th of January last year, less than a month later the two women would become embroiled in a murder plot that left two 21-year-old men dead. Mahek, 24, was said to have ambushed Mr. Hussain after he threatened to leak sexually explicit material exposing a long-running affair he had been having with her 46-year-old mum. Prosecutors said he was lured into meeting with the mother-daughter duo on the pretense of giving him, back the £3,000 he said he had spent on taking his older lover out during their affair. Three years previously, Anzreen had begun a secret relationship with a younger man which only her daughter knew about. Despite the affair starting as a bit of fun, Sarkweeb Hussain quickly fell in love with the older woman and spent thousands of pounds wooing her. However, Anzreen had been married for more than two decades and had no intention of leaving her husband. By January 2022, she was attempting to end the relationship against her younger lover's wishes, with Hussain becoming increasingly obsessive. Contact between the two dramatically soured, with Hussain becoming frustrated after Ms. Bukhari stopped returning his calls. In what would prove a fatal mistake on his behalf, he turned to blackmail. Using sexually explicit images taken during their intimate moments together, he began to threaten to send them to Ms. Bukhari's husband and son. With her whirlwind romance soon becoming a nightmare, Anzreen turned to her daughter for advice and assistance. In one ominous WhatsApp message, Mahek said, I'll soon get him jumped by guys and he won't know what day it is. It was from then onwards that a drastic plan was set in motion to silence Hussain, in whichever way was necessary and regardless of the cost. An agreement was initially struck for Ms. Bukhari to pay her former lover up to £3,000 for his silence about the affair. The deal remained a problem, however, as the two women would have no confirmation that Hussain had deleted the sexually explicit images from his devices after the payment. It was at this point that Mahek turned to her friend, 28-year-old Rekin Carwin, for assistance. In turn, he recruited a number of others who would each play their part in setting a trap for Hussein, hoping that in numbers they could force him to hand over his phone. Before midnight on the 11th of February 2022, Hussein travelled alongside his childhood friend, Mohammed Hashim Ijazuddin, to Leicester to meet the two women under false pretenses. Footage from a Tesco car park showed Hussein and Ijazuddin never got out of their Skoda Fabia, with the prosecution alleging that they had gradually become suspicious. Soon afterwards, they were seen leaving the car park with a seat Leon and an Audi TT in quick pursuit, with both Mr. Carwin and another accomplice, Reyes Jamal, behind the wheels. In his last moments, Hussein made a desperate 999 call in which he could be heard saying, I'm being followed by two vehicles. They're trying to block me in. They've got balaclavas on. They're trying to ram me off the road. They're trying to kill me. I'm going to die. A short scream followed, with the sound of a collision before the call ended abruptly. The dramatic crash resulted in Hussein and his friend Ijazuddin being engulfed in a fireball after their vehicle was rammed off the A46 dual carriageway. Police footage taken at 1.35 a.m. showed the Skoda in flames, resting against the tree by the Six Hills Junction. Both men were identified by their dental records after becoming trapped in the blaze. Once arrested, 
those involved claimed that their intention behind the 100 miles per hour chase had been to stop the Skoda for a conversation to take place between the women and Hussein. They also provided contradictory claims that they had been traveling to a shisha bar in Nottingham, and had no intention of ramming the car off the road. During the trial, Mahek admitted to lying to both police and a previous jury concerning the events on the A46, and claimed her reasons for her false statements and providing the wrong pin to her phone was due to panicking. Now, more than 18 months after the double tragedy, the mother and daughter have been convicted of murder, with Judge Timothy Spencer Casey warning they face a very serious sentence. Jurors deliberated for more than 28 hours before returning a verdict on Friday afternoon. Thanking the jury for their remarkable service, the judge unusually excused them from jury duty for the next 30 years. Fellow defendants Carwin and Jamal were also found guilty of two counts of murder, while Natasha Akhtar, Amir Jamal and Sanaf Gula Mustafa were all found not guilty of murder, but guilty of two counts of manslaughter. Mohammed Patel was found not guilty of murder or manslaughter. Speaking after the verdicts, the victims' families shared their agony following their tragic losses. Mr. Ijazuddin's family said in a statement, everyone who knew Hashim loved him. His death is not just a massive loss to our family but also to our whole community. On that tragic day, he was simply helping his friend and this resulted in his death. It has been extremely painful not only losing Hashim at such a young age but also in the circumstances in which we lost him. The family of Mr. Hussein said they had been shattered by the senseless act which killed him. We are still struggling to come to terms with the enormity of our loss, they said. I never imagined that I would have to bury one of my children, that I would spend every waking moment suddenly expecting him to come back and tell me everything is okay, endlessly searching for his face whenever I am in public even though I know it is impossible. This grief of losing Sarkweeb has further been compounded by having to relive the horror of my son's death over and over again in court. The defendants will be sentenced on the 1st of September.